corn. It's not just delicious. Believe it or not, it helped unlock secrets about life itself. Geneticist Barbara McClintock used corn to make groundbreaking discoveries about DNA. McClintock grew up in the early 1900s in Brooklyn, New York, where she became fascinated with science and the building blocks of life. Her mother worried that no one would want to marry her if she pursued a career in science, but her father supported her decision to enroll at Cornell University's College of Agriculture. The university didn't allow women to major in genetics at the time. So, McClintock chose the more general course of botany instead. Nevertheless, McClintock did manage to take a class in genetics, and her professor then invited her to take an advanced course in the subject. She received her bachelor's degree in 1923, when around 25% of the College of Agriculture's graduates were women. She eventually completed her PhD and worked at various universities before finding a home at the Carnegie Institution of Washington. She made remarkable discoveries through her research into the hereditary characteristics of corn. For example, she was the first to see how corn's building blocks, called chromosomes, could jump apart and then join back together in a new way. This could even change the color of some corn kernels. At first, the scientific establishment did not take her findings seriously. But by the 1970s, scientists were recognizing the existence of transposons, also known as jumping genes. Dr. McClintock was finally seen as a pioneer. She was the first female to win an unshared Nobel Prize in the category of physiology or medicine. Dr. McClintock passed away in 1992. The impacts of her remarkable discoveries still influence science today in fields such as genetics, molecular biology, medicine, and agriculture. How might Barbara McClintock's perseverance inspire scientists today?